Can we go back to Hunter Biden blowing his painting? <laughs> because <laughs> you know he discovered this while doing cocaine. Uh, that is, I think he's using his crack pipe. To, to is that it. recent? Yeah. 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 So here's the. That's so you bad. You buy into the um, conspiracy, which I kind of do. Um, this guy needs money, Hunter Biden, and he has made these ink blowing drawings, right? So you put ink on there, you blow them with a straw, and you get something like you're looking at on the screen. And then people are buying them for hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And it's like, this is elementary school art stuff. It actually isn't that bad to me. Like, I don't think I could do it quite as that well. That one in the top right looks kind of neat. It looks like My some like, seven -year -old microscopic. Does it looks, it looks <laughs> you know, like, you know. It, they look like Petri dishes. I'm going to say he's an above average ink blower. Get out of here. You, know how you, can, you know how you can tell this is bullshit? Real artists don't have a assembly line of bullshit. They're, look, he's got his one he finished three minutes ago on the left and the one that he's halfway through on the right. Just pumping out trash. <laughs> the, and, you know, and he's and selling it Olivia for... <laughs> Zach says his kids can do it. He's selling it for like a notable amount of money, pocketing that. And you might guess the people buying it want favors for the Biden administration. So oh. that's the that's the the twist on it. Well, I, I think that that is reaching personally. I just think that. Like, <laughs> Go ahead, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, like, like it is like, quite the reach that our political families using their connections for personal gain. I don't buy it. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I can't no, I, believe Hunter Biden is the first presidential child to do to, to take advantage of this. <laughs> I don't know the institution. <laughs> I, I really don't think he is. So they're 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 seventy five to five hundred thousand. So like like all right. So that's 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 pretty wild that if they're half a million dollars but but my oh, first goodness. thought process was like i just can't imagine the scenario where like this literal crackhead <laughs> calls up his father and the president and says hey daddy um that guy from iran we talked about he bought he bought the the bubbles and uh for, <laughs> yeah 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 four hundred thousand um <laughs> i gave i gave him i gave him your snapchat is that cool <laughs> All right, cool. He'll hit you up soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. He's his username, Allahu Akbar six nine six nine four twenty. Yeah, six nine six nine. Yeah, he's gonna hit you up now. Like, does that go down? There's no way that goes down. I refuse to believe that goes. Not on Snapchat. Yeah, I don't believe Joe Biden's on Snapchat. What? Joe Biden's on MySpace. Oh my goodness. He's the me up on AOL. Oh, that's my friend. Can Tom. I just say the flower pot one looks looks cool to me? The one with like like because like, I, I don't know if it's supposed to be that, but like it looks to me like a vase full of flowers. The blue. Um, I like, like the uh, the one by his legs. Oh, I like man, that one. Can I? One. The more Dude, we look at him, fucking sucks. You're so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is so bad. <laughs> I want I want the one I want the one by his leg. I like that one. Now but, that I realize the, the thing, one in the top would, right is a human figure, I'm a little more impressed. Taylor, and landscape with the sun. Okay, this is three out of ten art. Taylor, show some respect. Dude, this, this is, is better seven, than I could this do. This is this is six or seven out of ten art as far as like abstract art goes. Six. Uh, you know why seven. I don't love it? Because there's no depth to it. Like when I look oh. at an actual oil painting, and you can yeah. see like the brush strokes and the thickness and where like what they've done, yeah. especially if it's like an ocean or something. Like it, there's a little 3D aspect Jesus. to it. With ink, it Please just don't. soaks in. That's, um, yeah, that's look amazing. how lazy he got with those mountains in that right one. <laughs> no, no texture there. You were, were you too busy? Were you too <laughs> too? Oh, this cracks. I this like the mountains. Metal. That was but done with a imagine? genuine Donald Trump sharpie. <laughs> I mean, 50 years from now, that's going to be in somebody's foyer and they're going to, somebody's going to walk in, why do you have this painting? And they're going to say, well, the son of a sitting president was so broke from drug abuse that he had to sell them on Instagram. <laughs> and yes, that's how I came to own it. I mean, that's an amazing story. I, that I th that is an amazing wrong. story. I, I, <laughs> what happened to all those payoffs from the Chinese? <laughs> They well, went they to the big guy. With paintings now. They went to the big guy. <laughs> Thank you. You stepped right into it. Oh, oh no, you got me trapped. Check me. 
During the we, we will just give election. him the money. They don't have to give us these shitty paintings. <laughs> 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 they know we have an under the table deal, right? Like, <laughs> give me this double blowing bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> yeah. I think That's I don't crazy. want to say anything. I think his son might be retarded. America, <laughs> I'm dumping your trash here. Oh. During the 2016 election, there was a broker in New York that was selling a Lamborghini Diablo that had previously been owned by Donald Trump and Trump's owned 20 Lamborghinis, but it's uh, a guy called me for a quote on it. Cause it was, it, they, were, they were selling it for probably a hundred thousand more than the car would have been worth. And he asked me what I thought of it. And I said, well, right now you're selling a Lamborghini that's owned by a presidential candidate, which it's not the only time that's happened, but who knows a few months from now, it could be a Lamborghini that was owned by a president of the mm -hmm. United States and he's like, and they laughed me out of the room. And I was like, I, don't know. I mean, it's it's possible he's still on the ballot. Yeah. And uh, I mean, now the thing would be worth ten times what it was uh, for that reason. But yeah, there was a picture of uh, of Trump in it, like putting gas in it at, uh, on Palm Beach Island or something. And I mean, he drove him around. But it's the same thing. Like it, it's a strange thing to be tied to a president. That mm -hmm. is certainly going to be a conversation piece for somebody uh, later, even oh, if it a looks like it was president. For sure. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Two times. But uh, well, one of them could be, I guess. Who is the, the other president. one? Who, who's the president that did it twice? Garfield. Well, lots Grover of them Cleveland have, comes you mean to with mind. The, gap the one that left and came with, back with, the, with right? the gap in between. Cleveland uh, was it Grover Cleveland? Zach says Cleveland. Ah, got oh, one. Okay. <clears throat> nice little bit of trivia. He can add himself to name great names like Gl Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> what did Cleveland do? He discovered the Cleveland, Ohio. That's significant. Yeah. Yeah, he was what, in Florida. Hold on. Just off the top of your head, nobody look it up. We have to guess what year Cleveland was president. Shit, are you serious? I know. I'm I, not going to get it right either, but we're going to look retarded. I'm going to say it, his presidency. I'm going to say his presidency covered 1927. 1840. <gasps> well, that's wrong. Wow. We don't I'm know. I'm 1910. Okay. I'm going to say 1890. Oh, look at you. <laughs> oh, just, just oh my just... God, you got it wrong, Taylor. Did I miss it? Oh, man. <laughs> Taylor, oh, doesn't, oh, Taylor man. doesn't know shit about history. What the fuck, bro? Mm, man, that's <laughs> a tough loss. Nice that job was... going over, bitch. Oh, <laughs> you, no, you do not win split. with 1840 on that. Yes, I do. <laughs> what, what? It was 1927. I was one year off I mean, and I, two years off. You were in the middle of, those of the digits, two. Right? That's, that's I mind crazy. swept that competition. <laughs> <laughs> I got as close as possible <laughs> without getting on there. Uh, did you what, guys. What, what I, was I, major accomplishments? Just, just, you know, besides discovering Cleveland, Ohio. Obviously. Okay, what was, what was happening? What was happening in the 1890s? <laughs> um, well, we were uh, we had complete we'd gotten way past slavery by then, so everyone was equal. The cotton um, gin it, was it had been like twenty five years post slavery, so everything was all good. But cotton gin had long been there because you know slavery had already been gone for twenty five years. Um, you know, equal rights and everything. What else was going on? Twenty five. Spanish American um, War was that that was late eighteen nineties, right? Mm. What was going on in Europe? I think that's the more important question. I think you I think you know more about like. Specifically, France during the 1890s, like that's. Your I, I know, like that period, every military was like very into the spiked hat. The spiked, the spiked hat was big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. spiked yeah. helmets were huge up through World War One. I, I think they, they were useful. It wasn't... See, see what you do. You take it off, and you that spike, you stick it in the ground, and now you had a vessel to shave in. You know, to do whatever. You had a little, you know, a little, little bowl. Oh, is that? There. I thought shaving it was your own head? headbutt. I thought that's where you're going with Nah, it. Like, nobody headbutts anymore. You know the scene in Peacekeeper where the woman is flying headbutts? That's my interpretation of the spiked helmet. Well, yeah, that's it was a superhero was for, movie. See, what you've done there is you've, <laughs> you've confused like a real life historical event again with like a DC superhero. I do that. Yeah. Right. Like <laughs> National Treasure. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>